Hello my friends. I just finished the installation of a heating system for my tilapia fish tank. I'd like to show you how I did it. This is the heating element that I made for the tilapia tank and I'll take a close look at how it's constructed. I used uh, PEX uh, tubing for the element and uh, if you can see here I have it three coils thick. I have a spacer to hold it off the bottom of the tank. That spacer is a three-quarter inch PVC pipe held on with zip ties. The spacing with the coil I used poly, poly cord or rope it's uh, 3 8 inch diameter so it's holding about a half inch gap between all the tubes and same thing with the three layers. Um, after I coiled this I heated the, the corners with a heat gun so I could bend them then I have it zip tied and terminated with connectors. Um, these will just be screwed in to the other lines. The uh, blue PEX is three-quarter diameter and I use the compression fittings which really lock tight. The white PEX was stuff that I salvaged. It's an odd size. It's under three-quarter inch and what I did is I heated the ends up with the heat gun and uh, pressed them open with a tapered wedge and then slid the fitting in and secured with stainless steel uh, pipe clamps or strap clamps. And next step is put it in the tank there's the overall view. Put it in the tank and uh, hook the lines up and see if it works. The tilapia fish tank, I'm using a uh, salvaged uh, IBC, intermediate bulk container. The temperature has been running about 62 degrees and Right now it's, uh, with the other tanks, it's uh, 64 and these two tanks are running 62 and 63. The ideal temperature for a tilapia is 82 to 84 degrees and what we have here is the control unit. It's a Ran Ranco. Uh, it's monitoring right now 71 degrees. Uh, right to the left of the control unit is a salvaged uh, power supply uh, from a low voltage lighting system that I revamped and made a power supply to run a 12 volt uh, marine pump. Here's an overview of the hot water plumbing system. Uh, right here is the gas hot water tank. Um, it's a standard tank. Um, it's a used one that I had uh, and it works, it works fine. It's functioning properly. Okay, the supply coming in, uh, if you're not aware of it, there is inside a long tube that brings cold water to the bottom of the tank. That has to be uh, hooked up to the water coming in because that's colder water. Now, the bottom of the tank, there's a drain fitting, which I marked here. It's, it's a valve that will come out and it's so that you can drain the tank. I put a T fitting in here, connected the drain back up, and the T 
runs over to the hot water pump. Uh, the outtake of the hot water tank is uh, th this other side, which on the inside has a very short tube coming in. So it's sucking the hot water out of the top of the tank since hot water rises. Okay, that water flows over into the heating coil of the tilapia tank right here. So this would be the coil that's wrapped up inside. Okay, this side, the water is flowing this direction. As it comes out, it, you want the water on the colder side. This will be cool, chilling down as it's going through the heating element, uh, dissipating the heat uh, into the water in the tilapia tank. The uh, pump then is on the cooler side to allow the pump to run cooler. And this is a 12 volt pump that I'm using. That pump is then controlled uh, by the control unit. And that's the electronics. Um, this is pretty straightforward. There's nothing really fancy uh, with the whole system other than tapping in to the drain at the bottom of the tank and that then this creates your closed loop right here of the water flow through the system. Uh, it's, since it is a closed system, there should almost never be water coming into the tank um, unless there's a leak somewhere. But uh, a closed system like this when you're heating water, you would have to have uh, into the line somewhere a expansion tank because when you heat the water, the water is going to expand and it has to go somewhere or you're going to blow this pressure release valve that's on the side of the tank. Um, I don't have this in this closed loop because my pressure relief is coming from my house. The expansion tank is in my house. Um, so if there's any water pressure building up, it will just push back in, in through the supply line that's coming in. If you close this system and uh, had this a valve here that would shut that off, then you're running a dangerous risk where you're gonna you could overheat and blow this pressure release valve. Make sure you never default that, or else that will be a bomb. Okay, here's the electrical part to the system. It, the, it's plugged into the wall outlet, 110 volts. This is the RANCO temperature control box right here. There's two sets of uh, terminals inside the box. The one set um, connects directly to the 110 volts. Now, inside the second set is a, re a small relay, and it's normally open is the, what the contacts are in this relay. Now I'm going to switch uh, 110 volts with this because the relay is a low amperage uh, relay. If I drew a heart high current through this it could burn the contact points out. So I'm switching 120 volts which will be a lower uh, current rating. Okay, I'm running a 12 volt pump in to pump the water so I need to convert the 120 to 12 volts so what I did was I took a um, power supply to it's a low voltage power supply uh, to power lights in a yard and uh, I wasn't using that so I and it was a timer so I tore the time unit out and ended up only with this 12 volt transformer. It was a heavy duty transformer. So uh, the output was 120 volt or 12 volts AC voltage and I need DC to run the uh, pump. So to convert that to DC I constructed a little bridge circuit right here with diodes and this will convert the AC to 12 volts DC, it'll be pulsating like this at the output. Uh, 
what I needed to do was run a filter through there. So coming down here, I put a condenser. Um, and I used a thousand microfarad condenser, an electrolytic, uh, to take out this rippling effect. And then I put an LED so I could tell that the power unit was functioning. And just as for troubleshooting, in case I had a problem with the, the pump, this would let me know that it's putting 12 volts out. So I put an LED in here and a current limiting resistor, 330 ohms. Okay, then this is the 12 volts coming out, and it's DC, and that's feeding the pump, the 12 volt water pump. This Ranco unit it is, it has temperature controls. You can set the temperature. I have it set at 82 degrees. The uh, proper temperature for tilapia fish tank, from what I've been reading, it says 80 to 86 degrees. Right now, my fish tanks, since we are coming into the winter, the temperatures outside are dipping down into the teens or even uh, single digits. Um, I'm maintaining the greenhouse at about 72 degrees. The water temperature is staying about 62 degrees. 62 degrees, the fish don't want to eat. Well, we need to feed the fish to fertilize the plants. So uh, this uh, pump was turned on today. Within about two hours, it re uh, changed the temperature from uh, 62 degrees up to, uh, in two hours, it was at 72. Um, it's still running. I'm sure the temperature's going up, and it should control it at 82. Now, that should increase the water temperature throughout the whole system. It should increase the temperature in the grow beds. Um, since everything is draining into the sump tank, the uh, water coming into the fish tank, recommended rate is about a, uh, replenishing the tank about once an hour. Mine is running at once every two hours. That outflow temperature is going to be coming out at 82 and mixing in with the sump tank. Uh, to supplement the lack of water flow in my fish tank, I put air bubblers in there to help oxygenate the water better for the fish and to help break down any solids that's in there. It should be helping. So we'll see how this system works. Um, hopefully no, no uh, flaws come up. I'll keep a close eye on it for the first few days and see if it's monitoring uh, or controlling correctly. Well, thanks for watching my friends. Bye-bye.